Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about critical points and extreme points of a function. First of all, let us discuss critical points. Now, in our earlier session, we have discussed about increasing and decreasing functions. Now, the points. In the domain of a function, from where the graph of the function changes from increasing to decreasing or from decreasing to increasing are called critical points. Now here you can see graph of the function f of x is equal to x square. Here you can see that this function is decreasing for x is less than 0 and increasing for x is greater than 0. So, for x is equal to 0, the graph changes from decreasing to increasing. So, x is equal to 0 is the critical point of this function. That is the function f of x is equal to x square. Now let us draw a horizontal line at x is equal to 0. So we have drawn this horizontal line at the point x is equal to 0 and we see that this line is tangent to the curve at this point. So critical points are those points on a graph at which a line drawn is tangent to the curve. Now a polynomial may possess three types of critical points. First is maximum. Second is minimum. And third is point of inflection. Now when critical point is maximum or minimum. Now suppose we have a critical point at x is equal to c. And we want to check that whether it is a point of maxima or minima. Let us check it graphically. Now if the function is increasing to the left of x is equal to c and decreasing to the right of x is equal to c, then the function is maximum at x is equal to c. Now here we to see the graph of the function f of x is equal to minus x square plus 4x plus 1. Now here you can see when we draw a horizontal line at the point x is equal to 2, then it will be tangent to the curve at x is equal to 2. So, x is equal to 2 is the critical point. Also, the curve increases when x is less than 2 and it decreases when x is greater than 2. So, the curve changes from increasing to decreasing. It means at x is equal to 2, the function f of x is maximum. Now, if the function is decreasing to the left of x is equal to c and increasing to the right of c, then the function is minimum at x is equal to c. 
Now here you can see graph of the function f of x is equal to x square. Now here clearly you can see that x is equal to 0 is the critical point and also you can see that the curve decreases when x is less than 0 and it increases when x is greater than 0. So the curve changes from decreasing to increasing. Hence, at x is equal to 0, the function f of x is minimum. Now let us find maximum and minimum algebraically. Now if x is equal to c, is the critical point, we consider the points c minus h and c plus h where h is very small taken in decimals. Now c minus h will lie to the left of c and c plus h will lie to the right of c. Now we calculate the value of the function f of x at the point x is equal to c minus h and at the point x is equal to c plus h. Now if f of c minus h is less than f of c and f of c plus h is less than f of c then the function is maximum at x is equal to c. Now in this graph you can see that f of c minus h is less than f of c and f of c plus h is again less than f of c. So here yeah, the function is maximum at x is equal to c. Now if f of c minus h is greater than f of c and f of c plus h is also greater than f of c then the function is minimum at the point x is equal to c. For example, for the function f of x is equal to minus x square plus 4x plus 1, we want to determine whether the critical point x is equal to 2 is maximum or minimum. Here okay, consider a point very close to the point x is equal to 2 but lying to the left of 2. Let it be 1.9. Now this is the point c minus h where c is equal to 2 and h is equal to 0 0.1. Now we will consider a point very close to x is equal to 2 but lying to the right of 2. Let it be 2.1. Now this is the point c plus h where h is again 0.1. Now using calculator f of 1.9 is equal to 4.99. And f of 2.1 is equal to 4.99. So we have obtained the values of f of c minus h and f of c plus h. Now f of c is equal to f of 2 and on calculating this is equal to 5. Now here we see that f of c minus h that is f of 1.9 is less than f of c that is f of 2 and f of c plus h that is f of 2.1 is again less than f of c that is f of 2. So at x is equal to 2 f of x is maximum. Now if at the point x is equal to c f of x is maximum or minimum then the point of maxima or minima is given by the object pair c f of c. So for this example maximum point is given by the object pair 2 f of 2.
that is two that is the ordered pair two and f of two is five so maximum point is given by the ordered pair two five this is also called the extreme point now let us discuss what is extrema now these are the values of the function at each maximum and minimum point now let us see what is point of inflection now point of inflection is the point where graph changes its curvature now in this graph at this point the graph changes its curvature it is neither maximum nor minimum point as generally if f of c minus h is less than f of c and f of c plus h is greater than f of c or if f of c minus h is greater than f of c and f of c plus h is less than f of c then x is equal to c is point of inflection now a function can have more than one critical point in this case we find the maximum and minimum points at each critical value so in different intervals the function will be maximum or minimum and if there are more than one minimum or maximum points in different intervals of a function then we find the absolute maximum and absolute minimum value of the function now of all the maximum points the greatest value that a function assumes over its domain is called the absolute maximum similarly of all the minimum points the least value the function assumes over its domain is called the absolute minimum now consider the following graph of a function Here we have three critical points that is at x is equal to 2 at x is equal to 4 and at x is equal to 6 and we have two minimum points that is at x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 6 it means in some interval x is equal to 2 is minimum and in some interval x is equal to 6 is minimum and these are called relative minimum thus relative minimum is least value of function on some interval of the domain similarly relative maximum is maximum value of function on some interval of the domain so in this session we have discussed about critical points and extreme points of a function and this completes our session hope you all have enjoyed the session